Hey everyone, so today I am doing a little chit chat, get ready with me while I put on my makeup and I'm going to use all Korean brands because I don't know if you guys remember but recently I did a Korean beauty and makeup haul. I'll link it down below if you want to watch it and I got so much stuff. This is only a fraction of what I got. I showed it all in that video so make sure you check it out. So yeah, I'm going to use this stuff on my face today. I have to do a little disclaimer number one obviously i've just washed my hair and it's wet and i thought i would just do my makeup while my hair kind of naturally dries a little bit just to kind of minimize the blow dry time I'm trying to protect my hair because i bleached it again recently and i don't want it to like break apart also um this is the first time i have filmed in a couple of weeks because i have had a lot of personal stuff going on lately sorry to start this video on like a downer it's not really a downer but i just thought i would say you know, if my personality doesn't seem on point, that sounds weird, but you know what I mean? Like, if I just don't seem myself, that'll be why. Like, I kind of came on here to film today because I just really wanted to cheer myself up. I haven't worn makeup in over a week. I haven't filmed in over a week, and I just really want some makeup on my face to make myself feel a little bit better. I have a family member in hospital, if you follow me on Twitter you'll know. Um, I'm not going to go into any detail but basically it's quite serious. So my family member is currently resting and yeah I'm gonna film. Hopefully hopefully this video still comes out okay. I'm really excited so should be good. And Hamish made me a green juice and it is so freaking good today. I don't know. So refreshing. Oh, I love it. So I have a few different primers here today. A couple of these ones look really nice. I might use this one. I don't know. It's got uh, SPF in it which is really good. This is by Etude House and it's called Face Blur. Smoothing, pore hiding and tone up. My skin's starting to clear up again. I've been obviously quite stressed lately and my skin broke out so so badly but I've been doing so many good face masks and using like tea tree oil and all sorts of stuff like that so it's finally looking okay again. It's probably been quite good for my skin to have a week off all of the makeup. This primer feels so like moisturizing. Like it feels like a lotion. Kind of smells like sunscreen, which I love the smell of sunscreen. So it just reminds me of summer. It makes your skin look so glowy and healthy. I don't know how this like hides your pores though. It doesn't feel like it's kind of filled in or anything. It just feels like an everyday moisturizing glowy primer. It's not thick or anything, but who knows? We will see. Maybe it does help with pores. I don't know. Oh, I've got this primer too by Innisfree, which is one of my favorite uh, Korean brands. This is the No Sebum Blur Primer. I love the No Sebum range. I use the skincare quite often. It's really good. See, this one here is like a pore filling primer. You can tell by the texture. It's like really thick. So I'm just going to put some of the around my nose where I've got big pores and down here on my chin. God, that feels so smooth, you guys. Like, compared to some others, which sometimes you put them on and they kind of feel a little bit crumbly, this one's actually really silky smooth. And it really does, like, fill in the pores. It looks so nice close up. I've got this Etude House Precious Mineral Any Cushion Foundation. It's like a cushion foundation, clearly. I wonder what the color's like. So, looks like this. Oh, I think that's going to be way too dark. Look at that. Oh, actually that doesn't look too dark at all. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I haven't really used a product like this before. I don't think I've ever used one in a video, but anyway, I'm gonna use my Flawless Finish Sponge Bake So Beauty. You can use like the little applicator it comes with, but I don't know. It's very natural, but obviously I'm gonna build it up a little bit because you only get a little bit at once, which is quite a good thing, I guess. Like if you want a natural look, then you can just build it up if you want some more coverage. My throat kind of hurts. It looks so pretty. I need to do a new no makeup makeup video soon, like a tutorial. And I feel like this kind of product is so perfect because it literally looks like skin. This color looks pretty good as well. I'll blend it down my neck a little bit still. Should have used a BB cream. Damn it. Don't worry guys, I'm definitely gonna use one soon. I used to be all about the BB cream life. If you've been watching my videos since the very beginning, you guys know how obsessed with BB creams I used to be. I really need to start integrating them into my skin, I mean my makeup routine again. By the way, thank you guys so much um, for all of your well wishes lately. Like I know I haven't gone into detail just for personal reasons obviously. No one needs to know the details right now and even though I haven't been specific in what's happening like your support has just been incredible and I've passed on your wishes to my family member and just said look Look at all these people rooting for you. Like, you guys have just been so kind and I really appreciate it. My family really appreciates it. And just thank you guys so much for being so kind to me, you know, saying like, don't worry about doing this, don't worry about doing that. I've been doing my best. Um, and I haven't been active on my vlog channel, but I'm doing my best. I just really, really appreciate 
your support really. So I've built this up and it's actually like quite a full coverage and it actually looks incredible. Can you see how smooth my skin looks? Obviously, apart from my undry area, I haven't put any there, but just look on my cheeks and everything. It looks so smooth and like you can see that pore primer made such a big difference. This area of my face where I sometimes get pores just looks smooth. Sorry about the lighting too guys, I'm doing my best, but the sun is coming out as it always likes to do right when I'm filming my videos. <laughs> I really want to try this, the Pimple Solution CC Cover and Care. It's probably going to be way too dark, but I can wipe it off if it is. Because I've got this ugly as pimple right here, Stress Pimple. So this is by the brand Cyrical. It is the Pimple Solution CC Cover and Care. So it treats the pimple, but it's also a concealer. Might be a little bit too dark, but we'll give it a go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That kind of stings. It's not actually too dark. It's a little bit dark, but I'm going to let it kind of dry. And then I'll use my sponge just over top of it to kind of blend it. It's drying darker and darker. <gasps> I've got some liquid concealer. I think this is by the brand uh, Start With A. Atrium? Probably not, I don't know. I'll list it down below though. And this is in the shade 1, I believe. This is 25 mils of concealer. Pretty crazy. Hopefully the color is okay. It's just in a squeezy tube. Ugh, it feels, well, very thick. This might be too much, so I'm just going to spread it out over two fingers and then just apply a little. Oh, there goes the sun again. And I'm going to use the pointy end of my sponge to blend this. Wow, it is very full coverage. It's not the best at color correcting those dark under eye circles. They're very dark at the moment because I just have not been taking care of myself lately. My sleeping's been terrible. I have not been drinking enough water and it's showing on my face. It's so funny how, you know, when something like this in life happens and this is the first time I've really experienced it in my adult life. Everything is just thrown into perspective. Like what's important, what's not important. Not saying that I'm not important by like not looking after myself, but what I mean is like just who matters, just other stuff happening in my life. And I'm like, you know what? This actually just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Like what matters is family and friends and health. Um, not these stupid little things that happen in a day-to-day -day life, you know? Like I just need to blow them off and be like, you know what? Is this worth my time, you know, stressing over? And it's really not. I should be spending that time with people I love. <sighs> that probably doesn't really make sense, but you know what I mean? Hopefully this isn't like a downer video. It is really nice just to be throwing on some makeup right now though. Like it's just kind of therapeutic, you know? <laughs> like it's just a little bit of me time. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this concealer and put it on top of that other stuff to lighten it. Hopefully conceal the breakouts even better. Oh, that works really well. Okay, I'm just going to set that under eye concealer with some loose powder because it does look like it might crease because it's so thick, it's like settling. I'm going to use this Blur Powder by Innisfree, so it's like the primer. This is how it looks. I'm just taking a little bit on my sponge and applying that. Sorry, this is going to be a really unattractive face right now. <laughs> just packing it on. Don't worry if there's a little bit extra. We'll clean that away in a bit. I definitely do not have like everything for a full face of makeup by Korean brands. Um, like I don't think I have a bronzer. Oh, actually I might buy three concept eyes. Anyway, I'm going to use as much Korean stuff as I can. But next I'm going to do my blush. This is the Cushion Tint Professional Lip and Cheek by McQueen New York. This is in the shade 2. I'm just going to go in with the shade because it's the first one I found. And then I'm going to match the rest of my makeup to this. Oh, oh god, that's so thick. I thought it was way runnier than this. Okay, let me just wipe a little bit off before I start blending this because it's going to be way too much. And then I'm going to use my sponge. Okay, I can see that really well in real life, but not so much on camera. It's a little bit difficult to blend, like not difficult, but you've got to blend it for a while before it looks seamless and you've got to work quite quickly. But it looks really good once it's blended. It's quite thick. All right, for brows, I bought these a while ago. I haven't tried them yet. This is the Wonder Drawing 24 Hour Auto Eyebrow by Holika Holika. And then this here is the One Second Finish Brow Cara. <laughs> I love the name, Brow Cara. This is in the shade one and shade three. So the product looks like a little square. And then on the other end, you have your spoolie. Quite a warm color. Like it looks not very warm, but then you draw it on and it looks very warm. 
This is surprisingly easy to use. This is a much more taupey colour, so hopefully it'll help to kind of colour correct. The brush gets the product everywhere. The actual colour is nice. Okay, let's do the other side. This is my favourite part because <laughs> look how cute this is. Panda's Dream Eye Primer. Well, it's actually called an eye base. So the lid comes off and then it's like a white product underneath. So I'm going to go right ahead and draw it straight on. And then I'm just using a flat eye brush to kind of distribute it and blend it out nicely. Oh, it's a little bit cakey on the inner corner. I am 100% using one of these beauty people like foiled eyeshadows that I showed in my haul because they are just incredible. So I'm going to do super sparkly eyes. First, I need some kind of like matte dark brown. I don't even know if I have one because all the eyeshadows I bought are real shimmery like this. If it wants to focus. This is the 3 Concept Eyes Magic Touch Face Maker. Looks like this. It's just like a contouring, highlighting duo. What's this highlighter like? It's quite pretty. This is in the shade beige. So I'm going to use the contour side on my eyes. Using this brush here, which is a crease blender brush. Fresh and clean. Love using clean brushes. You'd think it would be motivation enough to like wash my brushes more. But no. So I'm just placing the colour first. And then I'll blend it out in a second. I might go in with a different brand like not a Korean brand um, just in another crease color because I don't have any from this Korean range of products I've bought but I will use this to contour soon which is good because I thought I didn't have a contour color some people were asking on my Korean haul why I haven't used the Korean brands in my videos like previously because I've done other Korean um, hauls before and the reason is because I wanted to use most of it for the first time in a video like this Like a Korean full face makeup tutorial, but I just never got around to it I kept forgetting about it and then forgetting and forgetting and forgetting today's the day So hopefully I will like a lot of these products enough to continue to use them in my everyday makeup looks I'm gonna also run this underneath my eye and kind of connect it together I'm gonna use a little bit of fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to focus it right in the crease so the crease is the darkest area. Now I'm using a fluffy blender brush to make sure everything's really nicely blended. Okay, so these two colors here are definitely my favorite and I don't know which one to use. This one here is called Some Light One. This one here is called Wood Light Six. I just don't know which one. Might do this side, I don't know. <laughs> this is the number one, Some Light. I'm just gonna use the end of my jewel petal brush, like a little concealer brush. And I'm just going to slowly build this up. It is easier to use your finger for this kind of product, but I just, want to make sure the application is kind of precise. I don't want it to go up past the crease. Actually, I'm going to use my finger now that I've got the placement down and I'm just going to focus that on the bottom. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, look at those colors. Oh. Okay, the fallout's quite difficult. I'd say if you're using these products, use them before you do any base at all because it kind of stuck. Before I do any of my mascara and eyeliner and everything, I'm going to set the rest of my face. That same powder. Oh god, this is still falling out. Can you see it everywhere? <laughs> okay, so it seems that I don't just have a normal bronzer um, by a Korean brand, so I'm going to use Luminous Bronze Light by Hourglass. I'll list below my Korean haul, obviously, and I did a Korean style makeup tutorial, like a Korean inspired makeup tutorial with Korean trends. Some of you guys might like to watch that. And then back in with my little contour palette. I'm going to use a good old bronzer brush just to contour. And I already know what highlighter I'm going to be using. I cannot wait. It's so pretty. This highlighter here by Innisfree. It is the, it's shade 2. I think it's called the like flower blush or flower luminizer or something. I'll link it down below for you. It's so beautiful. So I'm using a shimmer fan brush. It almost just looks wet on your skin. Like, it is so stunning. I'm also just going to put some of that on the brow bone and inner corner. This brush here that I'm using is coming to Exo Beauty soon, by the way. Look how beautiful that glow is. Look on the eyes, the cheeks. It's so radiant. It's one thing Korean brands do amazing, and it is just skin. Highlighters, blushes, the foundations, like, they're all so radiant and just natural, just healthy, glowy. Love it. Found this in my drawer from a previous haul. This is the Wonder Drawing No Smudge Liquid Eyeliner by Holika Holika. So I love the brush tip rather than like a felt. Oh, look how pigmented that is. It's like black, black. 
So as you can see, I've gone for quite a flat wing. So it just kind of goes out sideways and elongates my eye. I'm gonna use the Wild One Lashes today. <sighs> this side is a little bit higher than this side. <laughs> I can never get my eyeliner even to save my life. So for mascara, of course, I'm using the Micro Cara by Innisfree, Skinny Micro Cara. This is like a dupe for the It Cosmetics one. Look how skinny the wand is. <sighs> These wands are especially good for lower lashes, like. So these are what the wild one look like. These are gonna look incredible with this makeup look. And I am using the Duo Latex Free Glue. I love this. Okay, this eyeliner is just chipping off. So I don't think it's as good as I first thought. Now I'm using this Innisfree Gel Liner and this is in the shade two, maybe? I think two looks like this. It's not very opaque. It just kind of gives like a sheen across your waterline. I'm gonna use the shade Wendy by Three Concept Eyes. It's a really, really pale pink. This just kind of highlights the cheeks and kind of brightens up that cream blush we applied earlier. For the lips, I might use some Three Concept Eyes as well because by far, Three Concept Eyes is definitely one of my favorite Korean makeup brands. It's incredible. I don't think I have any Korean lip liners, so I might use a different one, but this here is Three Concept Eyes Lipstick in Shasha. This is Peachy Lip Liner by BH Cosmetics. And then Shasha. So pretty. I love the lashes with this look too. They're just so flirty. I'm gonna go dry my hair and I'll come back and show you the completed look. So here is the finished look with my hair finally dry. Here's a little close up. I think this makeup look is really pretty. My only thing is that the concealer looks a little bit cakey and the eyeshadow definitely has a lot of fallout. Like it still just keeps falling out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Korean brand makeup tutorial. And if you want to see some more, just let me know. I'd be happy to do some more. I really, really, really love these products. They're so, so nice, especially the foundation. Oh, I love them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are new here, I would love to have you here. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Sounds like bubble bath. When you're like moving in the bath, it's like ch ch ch. It says here that this mask is suitable for almost all skin types, especially oily. However, those with sensitive skin should first test the product on a small area. Although the mask is effective as a one-step makeup remover and pore cleaner. Oh, I could have put it on top of my